Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple and elegant resume. A resume is one of the most important documents in our lives. It can literally mean the difference between happiness and sadness, at least as far as our careers are concerned. We can lose our opportunity to get our foots in the door if it isn't done right. A resume is a self-advertisement that when done properly, shows how my skills, experience, and achievements match the requirements of the job I want. I'll walk you through setting up and laying out the content to highlight your skills and grab the reader's attention. The tool I'm gonna to be using is designbold.com. You can go there and create a free account and then click the collection page in the top left-hand corner. You can then click on documents and letters in the left-hand side. Underneath that, in the drop-down menu, you'll see resume. Or you can just search resume in the top right search bar. You'll see many resume templates to use. It's pretty straightforward from here. Just pick one you like. We'll scroll down until we find one we like. I'm looking for a simple resume template. Those are the ones I like. Ooh, I like this one. The most important part of the resume is some words about you, your experience, education, skills, awards, and habits. Keep it as short as you can. Don't beat around the bush. Be concise with your words. We're lucky because this template provides a clear layout and we simply have to fill out the information and don't have to worry about the design. A little tip for resume building, you should research the company you're applying to. If the company seems to be more traditional, keep your resume more traditional. If the company seems to be more eccentric and wild, then it's okay for you to choose a louder resume, like this one. Follow the style of the company you're applying for. I'd suggest you make multiple resumes. Okay, so first step is to name the resume design. Resume. This part is simple, but easy to mess up. Choose a resume photo. For real, some companies won't even look at a resume that doesn't have a photo. Don't let that be the reason that you don't move on to the next step in the hiring process. You need to upload your photo to DesignBold. If you haven't collected it yet, pause the video and resume when you have. You can find the upload button on the left hand side. It looks like a cloud with an arrow in it. Click the upload your images button. Browse for the photo. Click the choose button. Delete the photo that's not you. <laughs> and just drag and drop the photo onto the resume template. So the photo's kind of big, so let's select it and then resize it by dragging the corner. Now we just need to move it to the right spot. One thing I like about DesignBold is that there's a grid system, which makes sure you're aligned. It's really useful and helps your designs look consistent. All right, so now we'll change our profile section. Remember, your profile section doesn't need to prove that you're amazing at the position. You just want to demonstrate that you find passion in it, that you want to do it, that you're excited about the opportunity. I cannot stress this enough. Companies want attitude more than anything else. Skills can be trained, personality cannot. For the experience section, it's best that you say two or three sentences about what you did at your previous job and how it can help you excel at this one. The skills section is just like the experience section. You may have many skills, but it's best if you only state the ones which are relevant to the position you're applying for. The awards section is an area we hope you've got something to say. Companies like knowing you go above and beyond. However, if you don't, it's okay to list hobbies that you have, which might make you better at this job. All right, so I'm gonna change my name now. Jung and V. It stands for non-vintage. I'm fresh. <laughs> there are many ways to adjust the resume template to your liking. You can change the font color, for example. I wanna change this color to teal because it's one of my favorites. I want to change all the section header colors from orange to teal. After you've selected the section header, it's easy to choose the same color. It's automatically listed underneath document color. So just choose it after selecting the header. If you want to move multiple elements of the resume template, just left click and drag while holding the mouse over the elements you want to adjust. Okay, so one more time. All right, I think it's done. Now let's click the download button in the top menu bar. Let's change the name of the resume. Jung NV. 
Also, we got to choose the format of the file. I recommend PDF because it's the best for resumes and printing. Click the button, save to my computer, and wait a few minutes. And then you're done. Some last things I think you should keep in mind. First, make sure you research the company you want to apply to. Second, keep it sweet and simple. Be sincere. And finally, good luck. I hope you get the job.